Okay, guys, let's look at this simple question that we have here. We are told to make r the subject of v is equal to pi r square h. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is a subject of a formula? The subject of a formula is the value we are trying to calculate. It is always found on one side of the formula, especially on the left side. So whenever you are told to make an alphabet the subject of a formula, it simply means make that alphabet to be alone on the left side of the formula. So in this formula, the initial subject of this formula is V. You can see that V is alone on the left side of the formula. So if we want to make R the subject of the formula, this means R needs to be alone on one side of the formula. So the way I do it is I flip the formula so that the value I want to make the subject is found on the left automatically. So this is going to be pi radial square h is equal to v. So once you do that, the value you want to make the subject is already on the left side. But there are some values that accompany it to the left. In this case, we have pi is on the left. It's not supposed to be there. h is on the left. It's not supposed to be there. Square is on the left. It's not supposed to be there. So we need to evacuate these values. So let's remove pi and h together. How do we do that? We divide both sides of the formula by pi h. So we're going to have pi r square h all over pi h is equal to v all over pi h. So this is going to cancel out these two. So we have r square is equal to v all over pi h. So have we gotten our final answer? Is R now the subject of the formula? Not yet, because we still have an unwanted guess on the left, which is square. How do we eliminate square? We introduce the opposite of square, which is square root. So we get the square root of both sides of the formula. So this will give us square root of R square is equal to square root of V all over pi H. So on the left, square root is gonna cancel out square. Our final answer is going to be r is equal to square root of v all over pi h. So at this point, you can see that r is alone on one side of the formula. Therefore, r is now the subject of the formula. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and follow for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.